What's up YouTube? My name is Chad. This is the Wisco Boater Channel. Today is August 24th and that is the four month anniversary of me putting the boat in the water and living on the boat. So four months of, of living on board. I thought I would uh, give an update on what it's been like over four months of living on the boat. I know uh, um, I did an update I think after one month. I was still kind of settling into things and now at four months, we've got a regular routine um, with uh, with the boat itself, uh, with Jersey. Uh, she's she's doing totally fine, by the way. She's laying down, snoozing. Um, but it's been it's been a really good summer uh, overall. I've done um, a lot of fun things. I've done a lot of boating, not necessarily on my boat, but um, I have been. Uh, have been fortunate to be able to, to uh, go out with some friends on their on their boat, uh, the Tierra 4300, the uh, Boston Whaler that they own. I basically have the keys to and can take that out whenever I want. And I also have a dinghy now, so there have been uh, been plenty of opportunities and chances to be out on the water and have some fun. But I just haven't been able to get thirsty whale um, out on the water while well, I'm on the water, obviously, but. Uh, to take uh, take Thirsty Whale off the dock all that often. I think I've been out four times, uh, maybe five. Um, a couple of the early runs, um, you know, I had some engine issues, got that taken care of, I believe, with the uh, replacement of the ignition coils. And I've had it out a couple times since then, and it's ran great. Um, it's, uh, everything on the boat is, is doing fine. It's just, a, it's just too much boat for me to take out uh, by myself. So got to have a crew to do it. Um, I have had offers um, from people to come and, and help me crew the boat just to take it out. And I do appreciate that, but uh, I really would like, when I, when I want to take it out, I want to take it out and, you know, spend a day out on it, have some fun, um, not just take it out just to take it out. Um, so while that, uh, that offer is certainly appreciated by some of my friends around here, um, just, uh, just haven't done it. So living on the boat uh, for, uh, four months now, it's kind of like living uh, in a tiny home. Although I, I do have, you know, two bedrooms and two bathrooms. Um, so there's, there's plenty of space on the boat uh, to live on it. And it's, it's, been, it's been totally fine. At this point in the season, I am starting to get the itch to, uh, to get into my apartment uh, in November. Just, uh, just little things like, you know, having just regular indoor plumbing and uh, not having to worry about uh, keeping track of the the uh, waste tank level, being able to take longer showers. I do shower on the boat most of the time, uh, but if I want to take a longer shower, I got to go up to the clubhouse, which is fine. It, showers are, are fairly quick on the boat. I've got about eight eight or nine minutes of hot water, which is plenty. But um, you know, there's it's it's uh, nice to take a, a long, hot or cold shower. As, uh, as the day uh, necessitates from time to time. So taking care of the boat as far as it being on the dock has been very routine. Weather comes in, tighten the lines up, and uh, make sure everything is, is uh, uh, good and tight for, uh, for some of the windier days. You know, otherwise opening and closing canvas, you know, for chilly nights or rainy nights, um, and then opening up in the morning, it's all just basically a, a a daily routine at this point and there's nothing really nothing really wrong with that um, I, I'm not I'm not to the point where I don't like doing it anymore so so yeah the the daily stuff of, of living on a boat has been absolutely fine and I was kind of questioning that earlier in the you know early in the season whether or not I could I could really handle it but it's been it's been fine it's been fun um, I've been able to see uh, my good friends Jim and Teresa quite a bit over the summer. They are still over at Quarterdeck. Um, hoping they'll come over to Center Point next year. Um, I do plan to return to Center Point next year with a smaller boat. Uh, just on the last video, uh, Thirsty Whale is uh, is for sale. And um, my next boat, I'll be looking at uh, 26 to 30 foot Express Cruiser, something very similar to what I had with the Regal uh, Clifford. It was a, it was a great boat. Um, you know, at the time I just wanted more space um, and, you know, we wanted to be able to have um, friends up for a weekend and be comfortable um, 
on the boat and I still like to, you know, I still like to have, have people over and spend the weekend with me, but it's just going to be on a smaller boat, uh, a smaller boat going forward. I just want something that I can spend weekends on or a week over the summer. Um, but the, the primary thing is being able to take the boat out, um, by myself if I want to, if the, uh, the weather and, and winds are good. So this boat just has so much, well, it's got a lot of freeboard and the canvas is tall, so it just makes it a, a big sail and it's hard to take it out in the wind and get it back on the dock safely. And I just don't want to, don't want to worry about that. It just can be a handful of times. So I do plan to, uh, either have this slip next year or if I, you know, I have a 30 foot or less boat, if there is a 30 or 35 foot slip available, I might move or possibly move to the wall, um, for next season. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. I'm more than happy to stay in a 40 foot slip with a 30 foot boat and I'll have plenty of space for a dinghy or you know a small boat to uh, to park ahead of ahead of me or behind me so uh, I am looking forward to that I'm not really looking forward to the whole boat shopping process again finding thirsty whale was a, a kind of a grueling process um, you know and, and having a drive to to look at boats and and set up surveys and all that kind of stuff. I'm not not looking forward to really doing that again, but that's uh, that's the way things are right now. So once Thirsty Wheel is sold, I'll begin seriously shopping for for the next boat. I've already got a bunch of boats saved in my boat trader account. Uh, stuff that I'm that I'm interested in just down the road to see uh, to you know keep ideas in my head on uh, on what I'll be looking at. Not looking at anything specific brand wise. I would like to stick with Chris Craft if I can. Um, there's several models in the in the 27 to 30 foot range that I'll that I'll like to look at if I can find something fairly close. Um, so, yes, I would like to stay with Chris Craft if I can. That would be the preference. Uh, but I will also be looking at other brands just to uh, to see what fits uh, the the need. Well, the need, the want. Uh, I mean, really, who who really needs a boat? Um, <laughs> so. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Jersey could care less if she's on a boat, off a boat. It really doesn't matter. She's been totally fine this year. One thing that, on the boat anyway, one thing that I won't miss having to do daily is taking her off the boat to uh, let her do her business. Uh, she's a little barky on leash. So um, I always try to plan taking her off the boat when I don't see people coming off off the dock or, or coming onto the dock or walking around the parking lot. Um, just try to try to work around that if I can. If there's one thing over the season that that has been kind of a pain, it's it's that. But she's not going anywhere. So <laughs> that's that's just uh, that's just part of life. So I am very happy with, with Thirsty Whale overall this summer. Um, usually when you use things on a boat, um, you know, things can tend to, to break or malfunction or, um, uh, or not work for some reason. I have been very, very thankful this summer that nothing on this boat has needed attention other than uh, putting in new ignition coils for, uh, for the uh, engines. So all systems on the boat have worked flawlessly all summer long. Um, so I should be knocking on some wood here somewhere, but, uh, yeah, it's just a, it's just a great old boat. And, uh, selling it's gonna it's gonna suck um, but uh, whoever whoever gets this boat next is uh, I think gonna be very very happy with it um, yeah I'm, I'm super super happy that I had the opportunity to uh, be her caretaker for a, a little while for the last couple years and uh, hopefully someone else will uh, appreciate the work that's been done to it not only by me but by the previous owners as well um, it's just been a very well cared for boat so very very happy with it so i've got uh about a little over two months left as of making this video i've got plans in place for the end of the season we'll be taking the boat out one more time to do some pictures for the sales listing with brock stalky he'll be with me on that and i i do plan to do a video of that that uh, photo slash video shoot um so look for that video here coming up for too long hopefully we can make it uh, we were going to try to do it this week, but the weather's just been um, not great. As you can see behind me, it's a gray day. It's really misty out right now. Uh, the last two days have been cloudy. Um, 
Tuesday of this week. I think it was Tuesday. It was very, very windy. Um, and we want to make sure we have a nice, sunny, calm day to, to uh, take the boat out and run it maybe down the channel to do some some photos of it on the water using using uh, Brock's drone. Um, so hopefully that'll that'll come out nicely. But towards the end of the season, the uh, Center Point Marina closes officially on October 15th. I believe most of the marinas around here do close on the 15th of October. But I am going to move the boat over to Quarterdeck, uh, which is just across the way. Uh, you saw early in the season when I moved it from Quarterdeck to here. It's a very short quarter mile run. Um, so I do plan to move over to Quarterdeck mid-October. Water will be shut off there on the 18th, uh, but power will be on the available. Power will be on the docks until the last boat is out, and they will do pump outs over there until the last boat is out is out of the water as well. So I'll get my last pump out here, and then take it over there, and I'll see where they put me. Um, if I'm fairly close to the clubhouse, I probably will try not to use the uh, the, the heads on the boat. Um, but if you know if I do if I have to it's uh, it's a fairly easy uh, easy thing to do just to run run do a pump out before the haul out date. So my haul out date is uh, not officially set yet, but my apartment is ready November first. So I'll be hauling out the boat that first week of of November. Water will be shut off on the 18th. I will have my my freshwater tank filled and use water sparingly. I think I have 65 gallons of water on board, if I remember correctly. Um, so that should last uh, a fairly decent amount of time if it's uh, just you know a couple weeks, two or three weeks that I'll be over there before the boat comes out of the water. So um, yeah, it's kind of crazy, you know, end of August, talking about the end of the season and haul out plans and all that already. Boating in Wisconsin, you get uh, five, six months on the water and six, seven months on the hard. Last four months, uh, been great. Uh, what I, what I, could I say I would do it again? Um, I don't know. I think this has been a good experience for me to think about in the future if I ever do decide in retirement to do the Great Loop. Um, though you get to see a lot of a lot of new places, a lot of a uh, lot of uh, um, a lot more experiences than just uh, being on the boat on the dock all the time. So, um, but it was a good primer. I think really enjoyed it. There's uh, two months left. Got plenty of opportunity to uh, do still still do some boating activities, whether it's uh, on this boat to uh, take it out one or two more times or uh, you know maybe making a trip over to Menominee with uh, Kevin and Michelle on on Harmony um, dinghy rides uh, whaler whaler rides there's other stuff I'll be doing and shooting videos of so um, I'll just I'll preface this I'll, I'll say this early there won't be um, my, my content over the winter probably is not going to be a regularly released video on Thursdays like it has been in the past. Um, with this boat being for sale, I uh, really don't have anything to do to it as far as projects go. Uh, and there's potential that it'll be sold before it ever goes in the building anyway. So um, I might do something along the lines of uh, boat reviews on boats that I'm looking at just to get some feedback from, from you guys to see if there's something about a particular boat that's great or not so great. Um, so, but yeah, you know, just a a kind of a studio review kind of format uh, using pictures and talking about things I like or dislike about uh, a boat based on uh, the pictures and what I know about the boat so we'll see I am still gonna put content out there over the winter uh, it just may not be every Thursday like it has been for the last geez four years five years whatever it's been that I've been doing the channel yeah we'll see how that goes but uh, I think that's it for now so we'll see you next time on the Wisco Boater channel happy boating everybody